Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be getting you everything you need to know about the Astralon Fusion being alive and getting you caught up on what is going on in game heading into this weekend. So let's get into it. Alrighty, and first of all, 2x voids are live. It is here. You can see here two days and 16 hours left. And if you click on the eye, as you always should before you pull shards, you want to make sure you can see the highlighted difference in the odds to make sure it is live before you pull. But it is. So as of the uh, as of recording this video, it is live and you are good to go. Now down below in a pinned comment, I will be live right after this video and I am willing to pull viewer shards. It's always a fun time. So I hope to see you there hanging out on stream. And if you want me to pull your shards live, the link is down below twitch.tv slash cf underscore chosen so let's move into the astralon fusion now okay first of all my sentiment always for fusions is if you can realistically go for it you should go for it now don't break your back don't break your wallet don't go crazy don't don't go out of the norm or or, or get wild but if it's realistic for you to go for the fusion, you should do it because uh, that's the point of the game. We want legendaries on our account. We want to make sure we acquire them because you never know when they, when they will get buffed or when they will be relevant for future content or future champions that come out where they synergize with or there's a fun strategy or something. So I don't want to be wrong and end up telling you not to go for a fusion and then have you end up regretting that a few months down the road. So definitely go for Astralon if you can. First of all, he looks incredible. Uh, amazing job in the aesthetics. The raid always does a great job on the aesthetics, but wow, this is no different. He looks just absolutely amazing. Everything from the wings to the uh, the outfit to the weapons, just an incredible looking champion. And uh, I do have a dedicated video going over Astralon and, and the whole kit and stuff, but basically he's going to synergize with Countess Lix. He's going to be a damage dealer and he's got some fun mechanics and fun things you can do with him. So definitely go for him if it's realistic for you to do so. And then I also want to pull this up for you. My, my good friend Henry made this and it's super cool. I will link to this down below if you want to be able to pull it up. But this is going to be a breakdown of all of the events going on. And then and then up top, it also shows when the Spirit Keep is open. So you can line that up with your planning as well. Because if we look at the fusion, you can see here, it is four of the same epic. And that epic is Spirit. So you're going to need lots of Spirit potions. There's also a rare down here that is Spirit. You got all four affinities here on the rares. And then all of these epic potions, or uh, not epic, all of these Spirit potions that are going to fuse into Astralon. So that is why you see up top there, the green potion icon showing when the Spirit Keep is is going to be open so you can line that up with the events and then the tournaments are going to be the orange shaded squares and then the events are going to be the blue shaded squares so that should be just a, a little handy tool to help you see exactly what is coming down the road and be able to plan accordingly so that'll be down in a pinned comment if you want to check that out and then in terms of the champions involved in the fusion i'm glad that i'm doing the free to play account right now because it gives me a perspective of which rares I should maybe try to keep or make sure I have a copy of and if the epic is something worth having on my free to play account and also if I should go for the fusion or not on my free to play account so first of all my free to play account is only like uh, 10 days old and, uh, and, I, and I can't spend any money on it so being that new uh, with zero money spent, I'm probably not gonna go for Astralon. Now, if you can do it, if you're if you're mid game, or if you spend money, or if you're end game, then definitely go for Astralon. But with a brand new free to play account, I just don't think it's realistic for me to go for Astralon. But that does give me a good perspective because there are a couple champions I do want to make sure I get on that free to play account. And one of them is going to be Abyssal or Abyssal, however you want to say that. But yeah, I think this guy is super cool. We've got the AOE A1. And then we can also realistically get him developed and booked because he is a rare. And then we can book that up to a 30% chance of AOE block buffs for two turns. That's an incredible A1 for a rare and then we've also got a three turn heal that is aoe all allies and we get a defense buff and an attack buff on all allies on a four turn cooldown so this champion as a rare for an early game or free to play account is going to be very good to have on that account and get developed and one thing i really dislike about when they link to champions infusions i've been telling them about this for over a year now 
It does not show them fully six star, full six star ascended. And the reason that's a big deal is when you look down here at the base stats, they look like crap because they're not six star. So you're used to seeing HPs of like, you know, 17, 18, 20,000, and you're like, what is going on? But it's because they're only level 40. And this is a massive deal because you see the base speed of 90, and you're like, ooh, that's pretty low. But. When we back out and we go into the index and we find the champion when they are actually maxed out, level 60, six star ascension, now we see the base speed of 95, the HP of 18, 330, and you're like, oh, okay, that's not too bad. That's pretty good for a rare. So they really need to change how the champion is linked in these fusions because it can definitely mislead people and confuse people. We want to see them the same way we see them in the index when they are fully maxed because some champions get that speed boost bonus to their base speed when they are six star and fully ascended. But let's head back into the fusion and have a discussion about the epic here because it is going to be four of Lordic Falcon Art. And I'll talk about if this is something I would want on my free to play account or not. Well, actually, no, I don't want to see the five star version. Let's just let's just go out and we're going to go into the sacred order and pull up the actual six star maxed out champion so we can see exactly what's on the table. Um, again, amazing aesthetics. All these champions look really cool uh, aesthetic wise in game, but uh, I do actually want a copy of Falcon Heart on my free to play account. I want to make sure I at least scoop up one or maybe even if it's realistic to get an epic book out of the deal, uh, if, there, if there's an event I can complete or earn enough uh, to, to go ahead and get two copies of him or something, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that because obviously anytime on an early game or free to play account, if we can get an epic book, let's do it. But we do have an A1 with the big version of decreased attack that can be very good in boss fight scenarios and worth having. And then we've got remove all debuffs from one ally, then place ally protection on that ally for two turns. So it can maybe help you uh, three star some content on a free to play account when you can only bring two champions in the campaign or something and also it can be a nice way to keep your most glass cannon damage dealer alive and then we've also got a two turn when booked uh, all ally shield based on this champion's hp so i do like that a3 and he's how we can get shields that is nice it's a role that is kind of sparse in raid it can help out in lots of different situations doom tower bosses spider den arena shields in general are very good and anytime you can get it aoe based on this champion's stats that is doing the effect that is an ability that is super good and then we've also got ally hp and doom tower uh which is not something i'm going to be focused on the free to play for a while but an aura is better than having no aura. And then the base stats are just kind of par for the course. But worth noting that the resistance is pretty sturdy at a base of 45 for an epic. And uh, the, the zero accuracy is a little bit unfortunate. I would have liked to see that be at least 10 because he does need accuracy to help out the A1. So the zero there is a little bit rough. And then that's all he needs accuracy for is just the A1 single target decrease attack. But yeah, as we back out, uh, I'll put the fusion one more time here as we as we kind of wrap up that discussion. Um, so that's the that's my sentiment on my early game free to play account. I'm just gonna make sure I get one copy of the spirit rare here, Abyssal, and then I'm also going to try to get at least one or two copies, maybe for a book situation on Falcon Heart. Uh, so that's the two that I am going to be interested in making sure I have on the account that I'm not going to be able to go for the Ashlon Fusion. But on my main, I'm definitely going to go for the Ashlon Fusion because he's, he's a champion I want available to me on my account uh, to, to play around with and maybe if he's amazing in future strats that we see emerge or something. Then in terms of tournaments and events, right now you've got the Classic Arena Takedown with the Core Hammers and the Fusion Champion up there. You're definitely going to want to get to 280 on the Classic Arena Takedown, but if you're an active player, that should be very realistic. Then the Champion Chase Tournament, uh, we do have the 2,500 points to get one of those uh, Falcon Hearts. So uh, worth going for. If you're going to be pulling shards, now is not a bad time to do it, and I'm sure a lot of you are going to be pulling 2x Void. So uh, there you go. At least make sure you get to 2,500 if you are going to be doing that. And then we've also got a Fire Knight tournament starting and a Champion Training tournament starting, which is great news because on my free-to-play, I have been purposely waiting. I've got lots of champions ready to rank up. I've been trying to be disciplined and coincide with a Champion Training tournament or event. So it'll be a good opportunity to level up some of those champions here tomorrow when that finally goes live. Then in terms of the events, remember you've got the Artifact Enhancement ending today. Uh, no Void Shard, unfortunately, but you're going to want to keep an eye on that. It's a good time to take some of those artifacts and upgrade them uh, accordingly to see which ones you want to keep or which ones you're going to uh, max out to 16. And then we've also got Dungeon Divers starting uh, tomorrow, uh, about 16 or 17 hours as of me recording this. So lots of stuff to keep up with going on. But remember, I do have that sheet down below that will show you exactly what is going on and lay it all out for you if you want to see that in a pinned comment.
So then let's head on into the shop and see if there's anything coming down the road here that is worth taking a look at and how it compares to what we typically see in game. Let me pull up the sheet for you here. All right, there we are, and we'll plug this in. We knew we, we knew that we would be getting some of these uh, void shard offers coming through. Sometimes they're decent, sometimes they're not. Let's go ahead and see how it's going to be going this time around. Then we've got seven voids. Um, okay, boom, 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 and 1.96, so, uh, borderline, yeah, not bad, uh, a pretty close, 7 for 25 is about the cheapest you'll see voids, other than, like, free-to-play accounts, sometimes we'll get super ridiculous offers, like, like, three voids for $5 or something, but in terms of your normal offers, this is about the cheapest you're ever gonna see them, then we've also got the bonus void pack here, so that one was a 1.96, See how this one grades out here. Uh, one, two, five, and then no energy gems. Nine fifty. Uh, we've got twelve voids, thirty brews. Ah, uh, yeah. So this one is slightly better, but it's a little bit more expensive. You can see here this one has a purchase limit of five. This one has a purchase limit of one. So uh, whenever it has a purchase limit of one, it's typically going to be shading towards one of those, some of the better offers that you see in game. So. I mean, I would probably lean towards getting the, the problem is it's double the price. It's 50 instead of, instead of uh, 25 and you don't get double the voids. You get 12 instead of 14, but you get a lot more gems. So just in terms of shard value, if you're going for champions, you're going for dopamine, you want to progress and, and get a void champion to work on, then the bonus void pack is probably, or sorry, they're both called the bonus void pack. But the one with the, uh, with, with the, the more simpler one, the one without the purchase limit of one, the one that you can get five of is probably the better. And depending on your account, you probably get different versions of this. Sometimes they'll release two or three different versions of this, of, of these type of offers based on your spending tier. So it may be a little bit different than mine. The monthly pack, is a 2.45 for value only three shards for thirty dollars so if you're worried about the void event going on probably one to stick away from for now uh the three-day pack you guys might be curious on this one let's go ahead and plug it in 5.5 mils gems of a thousand no brews no voids and four thousand energy 1.9 okay so um uh, yeah, not one, not one of the better offers we'll see in game, but eh, 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 meh, it's it's all right. Uh, and then divine speed, six star epic. Uh, I mean, you guys know how I feel about the the gear packs. This is not going to make sense unless you are a very high spender or if you are trying to compete uh, in the upper tiers of the arena. Uh, otherwise, it's not going to make sense for like ninety five percent of of the players out there. Uh, so yeah. Bonus Void Pack, either one of these uh, can be decent based on your spending situation and what you're currently looking for. Neither one is amazing. They're both just kind of, eh, they're all right. But that is going to do it for me in this video. And if you are watching this video right away, you will see in a pinned comment, it will say something about me being live right now. Like if you can see this comment, I am live. So I'm going to be live for a few hours, hanging out, playing some raid, interacting with you guys hopefully pulling some amazing champions in 2x void viewer shards. And then I'll probably pull void shards on my main account tomorrow. I'm going to bring somebody on the channel to kind of hang out for a fun event where we, uh, where we yank some shards together and see if I can finally get one of these GG void legendaries on my main account. Currently, uh, they have all been eluding me. I don't have Hegemon, Chris, Siffy, Warlord, any of these, like, PvP, uh, Super GG, Void Legendaries, they, they've kind of eluded me uh, right now. So hopefully, uh, we'll not pull a Whirlim or a Visix and all that stuff that I usually do. But anyway, I digress. I'm going to head on over to stream, and the link is down below in a pinned comment if you would like to come join us. So that's going to do it for me. As always, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.